learning a new language it's pretty cool but let's be honest sometimes that initial excitement can take a back seat whether you're already a language pro or just starting out get ready for some seriously helpful tips i'm moti joseph and i'm here to make the language learning process simple and enjoyable for you in this video we'll be uncovering strategies that will boost your language learning skills and we are also tackling why that language learning spark can sometimes fail and how to reignite it so grab your notepad relax and let's dive right into the video all right let's get started with the basics of language learning so if you're committed for this journey you're already on the right track but did you know that the comprehensible input output and review of feedback are the three essential pillars of effective language learning comprehensible input what is it I know what you're thinking right now, but don't worry. Comprehensible input is about exposing yourself to the language, while output involves speaking or writing in the new language. And lastly, review and feedback, which basically means learning from your mistakes and refining your skills. Sounds straightforward, right? Let me give you an example. It's like learning to ride a bicycle. You start by seeing how it works, then you practice pedaling and balancing, and if at all you wobble, you adjust and get better. So to truly thrive, we got to create a study plan that combines all these three dimensions: input, output, and review, which will supercharge your language learning growth, which will push you beyond your limits. And always remember, it's not just about perfection, it's about how well you progress. Now let's talk about finding the perfect balance in your language learning journey. I know it could be tempting to focus on one aspect. It could be reading or speaking alone. But don't forget others. Your language learning experience should be like a harmonious symphony, which could be a blend of listening, speaking, reading and writing. Imagine you're learning to cook. You need the right ingredients and you need to stir them as well. just to make something tasty follow the same pattern for language learning skills as well now to put this into action why not practice both spoken and written language every day isn't that simple that takes me to the next point ah the fear of making mistakes a common hurdle on the language learning journey but guess what Making errors is completely natural and essential for growth. Embrace all those slip-ups and use them to fine-tune your language learning skills. It's like dancing. Sometimes you just make a wrong step, but you ensure that you keep going and fix it for the next step. So if you're feeling a bit nervous, don't worry. Find a study partner who is more or less at your level. Trust me, you won't be alone in this journey. together you can make all those inevitable mistakes and you can learn from them now let's talk about a learning strategy backed by research spaced repetition it's all about breaking your study time into manageable small chunks and spreading them out over time it not only boosts your memory but also enhances your understanding and retention of the content so it's basically like songs that get stuck in our head when we listen to them over and over again so reviewing a bit every day helps words and phrases stick in our mind just like songs that allows me to talk about memory another crucial aspect of language learning don't worry even if you're not a memory user you can enhance this particular skill so here's the deal break down new information into smaller chunks again associate words with images and actively recall all those information it will protect your memory from stress fatigue and multitasking which are your memory's force now here is the eye opener when it comes to learning a language vocabulary takes the crown over grammar i'm sure that grammar helps with how we put things together but having a bunch of words at your fingertips is what really gets you talking now the more words you know the more words you can understand say and connect with native speakers imagine you're building a house grammar is the structure whereas vocabulary is a tool with which you build the remaining parts 
All right, here's the exciting part where you need to dive into some really cool language learning activities. They are the ones that will not only make your language learning journey enjoyable, but will also seriously boost your language learning skills. You gotta immerse yourself in real life sources of the language. You can dive into newspaper articles, read books, watch TV shows, movies, jam to songs and explore podcasts as well. So basically you surround yourself with authentic language experiences as much as possible that would really excite you. You read stories, watch shows and listen to songs to discover new things about the place you are visiting. So a similar method can be adopted here as well. Now let's talk about training your ears, a critical aspect of language learning. The conventional shadowing is your secret weapon here. Repeat conversations word for word even if you don't understand every word. This will not just hone your language rhythm but will also help you identify individual words within the flow. It's like playing a game of copycat with the movie characters. You say what they say and it helps you understand their language better. Ever heard of building a vocabulary collection? Well, it's a genius strategy. Whenever you come across a new word, capture it immediately. Create a system to record, organize and review your words regularly. The goal is simple. You could grow your vocabulary day by day. Again, it's similar to collecting memories from a trip. You write them down, look at them later, and they remind you of the places you have been to. So find your unique collection method. You can use flashcards and ensure you're actively using the words you have learned. With time, your vocabulary will become a treasure trove of language power. A language learner's best friend. But remember, less is often more. Keep flashcards as simple as possible and focus on triggers for memory recall. And to avoid road memorization, what you can do is you can mix up cues and practice using those cues and you can make use of both sides of the flashcards. And now flashcards are like having magic cards which could help you remember things easily. It's like having cheat codes for your computer games. You show them to yourself and instantly you know what they actually mean. And there you have it, a treasure trove of strategies to take your language learning skills to greater heights. Remember, dedication and practice are your ally on this exciting So embrace the joys of making mistakes, celebrate your progress and don't ever be afraid to venture beyond your comfort zone. The world of languages is vast and filled with endless possibilities for connection, understanding and growth as well. So whether you are delving into a new language for travel, career or pure passion, keep these strategies into your tool. With each word you learn, each conversation you engage in and each cultural nuance you explore, you are enriching your life in ways you never thought possible. So if you found these insights valuable, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and share it with fellow language enthusiasts. Also do subscribe to our channel for more language learning stuff and remember the journey of a thousand words begins with that first courageous step. Until next time, keep learning, keep growing and keep embracing the beauty of languages. Happy language learning.